What is going on everyone? My name is Jason and these are the best accessories for the 2020 MacBook Air. So not too long ago, Apple very stealthily did a refresh on the ever popular MacBook Air. Honestly, it's a pretty solid update as it has a beefier processor, more storage, and a keyboard that isn't prone to breaking. And I can see this computer being quite appealing to those who are thinking about picking up a laptop in 2020. And in case you picked one up already, or thinking about doing so, wanted to go over some of the best accessories for the MacBook Air in order to really maximize your experience. Now everything I covered today could be used for most MacBooks and it's not exclusive to the Air. And I did do a best accessories for the MacBook Pro a few months back. If you guys want to check that out, click on the card in the right hand corner over there. I'm also going to have the links to all the accessories I cover in this video down in the description. So you guys can have the most up to date pricing and know where to scoop these things up in case you guys are interested. Now before we get into the review, if you're into checking out the latest consumer tech products before you buy them, or if you're just a tech head like me, I make a video like this every single week. So make sure that you hit that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe so you can be the first to know when a new JSO review is out and you don't miss anything. And quick question for you guys. I picked up this 2019 MacBook Air basically in December of last year. Do you guys think I should upgrade to the 2020? Or do you think I'm good with the 2019? Curious to get your thoughts. Let me know what you guys are thinking in the comments down below. Okay, first up, let's talk protection because MacBooks aren't cheap by any measure and we want to make sure they continue to look stunning as long as humanly possible. Now, because most modern MacBooks have a unibody design made out of aluminum, you're getting a pretty solid computer in terms of build quality and you kind of tip your hat off to Apple for designing some gorgeous looking devices. That said, you could still end up scratching or denting the frame if you're not careful. Now, in order to preserve the eye-pleasing exterior, I went with this clear case by a company called iBenzer. It's a hard gel plastic cover that's extremely easy to install, literally just snap it into place in seconds. It has cutouts for the I.O. on both sides of the MacBook Air, and it even has vents underneath for airflow in order to prevent overheating. There's also four rubber feet on the bottom of the panel to ensure that your laptop isn't sliding around. And again, it helps prevent overheating by elevating the computer so it has space to breathe. And yeah, you can see that it's crystal clear. You likely won't even notice that you have a case on. It also makes a MacBook way easier to grip and carry around with confidence. And this has already saved my MacBook Air from getting damaged when I took this on a trip to Chicago. You can see it has some battle scars here. And yeah, it's got crazy good reviews on Amazon. And it only costs 15 bucks. A super affordable investment that provides good protection and minimal intrusion to the look and feel of your device. Now another solid accessory for protection is a MacBook carrying sleeve. I have this one here from the company Bellroy that's perfect for the MacBook Air. I love this fabric material. It's a nice contrast to the cold metal of the computer and it's really well put together. The inside is made up of a quilted microfiber to ensure that your MacBook doesn't get scratched up and it's designed with this nice magnetic bumper entry to make sure that it stays closed. And it's way more comforting putting your laptop in your bag with a nice sleeve on and it's a great alternative if a case isn't your thing. Speaking of protection for your Mac, I want to give a huge shout out to Inigo for sponsoring today's video. Let's be real here for a second. As the internet has weaved its way into our day-to-day -day lives in almost everything we do, the threat of malware and viruses has dramatically increased, even for Macs as they've grown more and more popular over the years. And relying solely on Apple's built-in security within its software is not nearly as safe as it was even just a few years ago. Inigo Mac Internet Security X9 provides Mac users with the latest antivirus protection that's extremely effective and super easy to use. The virus barrier can do a deep scan of your hard drive to identify, locate, and remove malicious files, and also scans files in real time whenever they're accessed to keep your laptop free of malware. It also automatically checks for the latest updates to make sure you're protected against the newest threats. And it not only protects your Mac, it detects PC-based malware as well, so you don't spread infected files to your friends, family, or people that you work with. The security suite also comes with a net barrier that identifies various devices that are trying to access your Mac and lets you decide what's allowed in and what gets turned away. The user interface is intuitive and easy to navigate and configure. And seriously, within a few clicks, your Mac is exponentially safer than it was before, and it really couldn't be easier. If you guys want to check it out, Inigo is offering 50% off a one-year subscription to their Mac Internet Security X9 software. Just click in the link in the description below to take advantage of that deal. Trust me, you're going to feel a lot more peace of mind knowing that your Mac is protected. So definitely check them out. Okay, next up, now that we've got protection cover for the MacBook Air, let's get into accessibility. One of the most polarizing features of new Macs is that they're usually designed with very limited I.O. For example, the modern MacBook Air only comes with two Thunderbolt 3 ports, and that's really it. Now, I'm a huge fan of Thunderbolt 3, but it's still quite limiting not having any standard USB Type-A ports or something like an SD card reader, as these are still very often used I.O. That's why I carry around this guy, the Vava 9-in-1 USB-C adapter. 
This one dongle plugs into one of the Thunderbolt 3 slots, and in return gives you three USB 3.0 ports, an HDMI port, an SD and micro SD card reader, a gigabit ethernet port, and another USB Type-C port that supports PD recharging, all in one adapter. This is pretty much my go-to Swiss Army knife that I carry around with me at all times, as it has me covered for virtually any legacy port, and it's not only super functional, it's really well made. It's made out of a brushed aluminum, and comes in this stealthy space gray color that matches my MacBook Air, and this thing is critical when I'm on the move, editing video on the go, and it's incredibly useful. I know there are a ton of dongles out there to choose from, but this is one of the best I've tried. You can snag up the Vava USB-C 9-in-1 adapter on Amazon for 60 bucks. Okay, next up is an accessory that I recently picked up, and it's already one of those things where I can't imagine not having, and that's the Samsung T5 portable SSD. Now, one of the challenges I have particularly with the MacBook Air is that the internal SSD is not exactly huge. The base model 2019 version I have here only comes with 128 gigabytes of storage. This gives me a whopping 500 gigabytes of extra space at my fingertips, and Samsung T5 SSDs are known for their insane speeds. We're talking read and write speeds of up to 540 megabytes per second, so you can comfortably transfer heavy duty files in and out of this thing without any lag. This makes it super useful for me when I'm editing video. I do all my editing on Final Cut Pro off the T5 to avoid using up a big chunk of my internal storage, and man, this thing is blazing fast. It's also really well made and super compact, it seriously fits in the palm of your hand, and I think this metallic red look is pretty sick. If you're into editing high-res video or photos on your MacBook, or if you just have a ton of movies or something like that that you want to keep outside of your internal storage, you're going to have a hard time finding a better solution than the Samsung T5. You could pick up the 500GB version I have here on Amazon for 90 bucks. Okay, next up is one of my favorite accessories, and that's the iSki Magnetic USB-C Charging Kit. This is a very simple solution to having MagSafe-like capability on your new MacBook. It's comprised of two pieces, this adapter that your charger plugs into, and this receiver that you plug into one of your Thunderbolt 3 ports. And within seconds, you have a charging cable that isn't hardlined to your computer, helping to prevent anybody from tripping on it and permanently damaging your very expensive laptop. You can see that the magnetic connection is very strong, and what I like about this particular model in comparison to others is that the pin connection is larger and easier to confidently connect to. It's comprised of 20 gold-plated pins, it supports 100 watt quick charging which is great, you could also transfer data and 4K 60fps video output which is impressive, and despite its larger size, it doesn't take away the ability to use the other ports, which is well thought out. The connection is reversible too so you can charge in either direction, which is really convenient. And yeah, despite this being a really simple, compact thing, this is one of the best accessories when it comes to safety and streamlined functionality. It's probably the best MagSafe solution I've tested out in terms of reliability and build, and it only costs 22 bucks. If you're on the move often and charge in busy areas like coffee shops or libraries, definitely check it out and save yourself from trip-related heartbreak later. Okay, last up, if you travel with your MacBook often and you need to be sure that you have sufficient battery life when you may not have access to an outlet, this guy can save the day. This is the Super Tank External Battery by Zendier. This absolute beast of a battery pack is packing a hefty 27,000 milliamp hours of juice, and one of the most important features is that it supports 100 watt charging via USB-C. Now that's pretty rare on portable battery packs, and this feature allows for this thing to charge larger devices like your MacBook at full speed, while also simultaneously charging other devices, which is pretty incredible. The Super Tank comes with four ports total, you got two USB-A ports, one that charges at 15 watts and the other at 18, and two USB-C ports, one that could charge at 100 watts and the other at 60. So you can essentially charge a MacBook, an iPad, and two phones all at the same time, all at full speeds, which is kind of ridiculous. There's also a useful LED display that tells you how much of a charge you have left from a percentage standpoint. It comes with a really nice braided 100 watt USB-C charging cable, and the 27,000 milliamp hour size is great because it's the largest portable battery capacity that the TSA approves, making this perfect for those extra long flights where you need to get work done. There's not many battery packs out there that could charge devices like a MacBook on the go, and the Zendier Super Tank is one of the best out there. Okay, so that's about it for the best accessories for the 2020 MacBook Air. Don't forget to leave me a thumbs up if you guys found it useful, it really helps me out. Let me know in the comments which ones are your favorite, and don't forget links to everything covered is in the description if you guys want to learn more. And of course, if you guys have any specific questions, leave them down in the comments, and I'll be sure to get to you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.